Good evening, I'm Olivia Ray. Bloomington police arrested a man yesterday evening at his great-grandmother's home after finding her covered in blood. Zachary M. Swiller is charged with attempted murder and criminal confinement, a level 1 and level 3 felony. The 86-year-old female was discovered with lacerations and contusions on her face and upper body. She was transported to IU Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis. And today, the Bloomington Police Department announced the creation of the LGBTQ Liaison Program. The appointed liaisons are Detective Sergeant Dana Cole and Sergeant David Alley. The liaison program is designed to help foster positive relations and build communication between the LGBTQ community and the police department. Crimes are often underreported, so, you know, as open as Bloomington is, I'm sure that there still are some things that are not being reported that should be. The liaisons will also work to provide resources and address issues or concerns as related to hate crimes or public safety issues. Members of the State Board of Education will decide whether or not to earmark funds to support some of Indiana's formerly failing public schools during tomorrow's meeting in Muncie. The Director of Finance asked the board to dedicate nearly $8.7 million to four schools in Indianapolis and Gary. The funds are supposed to aid school operators in raising test scores, transforming instruction, and adjusting school climate. The Board of Education will also consider approval of new multilingual proficiency rules and adjustments to the spring 2016 I-STEP. Tonight's forecast, partly cloudy, low around 71. The five-day forecast, Wednesday, 50% chance of showers. Thursday and Friday, chance of showers. And Saturday and Sunday, mostly sunny. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org.